Hi folks, this is Max from High on Android.com where we get high on Android every day. Today we're going to learn how to manually change any apps on your phone or tablet uh, to run in phone or tablet mode. And also you can scale the font, change the language per app basis, or even keep your screen on when you're running certain apps. This will work on any rooted Android device. Usually it will require a custom ROM like Paranoid Android, but we just need to install two apps, uh, Expose App Installer and also Expose App Settings. Those two apps will be able to do everything I said, um, so let me go ahead and show you uh, what it looks like. And let's give props to Paranoid Android who came up with the idea of per app DPI, all those great settings. Hi folks, so let me show you how this works. Um, usually the Nexus 7 will actually have uh, two tabs with Gmail. I've got it switched to uh, phone mode here. And uh, with my Galaxy Note 2 here, uh, it's usually in phone mode, but I switched it to tablet mode. And here I will show you that uh, I can change the font scale. Uh, let's say maybe um, you're nearsighted or far farsighted, you need to be able to see the letters bigger. Um, so then go ahead and do that, say yes, and uh, boom shakalaka. I've got bigger letters. Um, now this you can do on any apps, uh, which is the cool thing. You can do it on Netflix, you can do it on uh, Facebook. Um, so for those of you with viewing problems on your tablet or phone, um, you can go by app bases and change the font size, uh, run it in tablet, phone mode, all of that good stuff. And let me show you another setting. Um, this is very useful. Uh, for example, um, you can also set screen on. I know I get a ton of questions from people asking me uh, how do you view flash videos and uh, don't let your screen go off. Now with this, you'll be able to set your browser um, to have screen on while browser's running. Uh, so you'll be able to watch all your favorite uh, flash videos without your screen turning off. And also another neat feature, you can change per app to run in uh, English, Korean, any language you want uh, on per app basis. So let's go do this. Let me show you how to install this on any rooted Android device. Uh, first, you'll have to be running ICS or Jelly Bean, ICS or higher, uh, that's Android 4.0.3 or higher. So if you have Android 4.0.3, 4.0.4, uh, if you have Android uh, Jelly Bean, Android 4.1.1 or 4.1.2 or higher, uh, it should all work. And also, you'll need a rooted phone to do this. Um, so go ahead and grab your phone and let's do this together. Hi folks, so I've got my Galaxy S3 here. Um, go ahead and go to the internet. You'll need two files. Uh, the first is the exposed, it's an X-P-O-S-E-D, exposed uh, installer. Go ahead and type that. And uh, you'll probably find this thread uh, exposed framework. This is what you need. Um, this will bring you to uh, XDA thread where it has the exposed. Um, go ahead and download the latest version uh, if you go down to the bottom here, I'll find the Expose installer, all right? And go ahead and install, uh, download it, all right? And once it's complete, click on it to install. Uh, if you have trouble installing, you can use ES File Explorer um, to go to your download folder and install it also. Uh, so go ahead and install it, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and install updates and updates. And make sure you hit grant. Make sure you have super user. Again, you, you'll need a rooted phone. Uh, it's not going to work unless you have a rooted phone. So it's going to ask you to reboot. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and reboot. If you see active 31.2.1.2, uh, something like that, uh, not empty, you're all good to go. So go ahead and reboot it. And I'll be back when it reboots. Hi, right, folks. So once your phone has rebooted, um, you'll need another app, Expose App Installer. That's the one that actually allows you to change uh, stuff. So go ahead and go to downloadandroidrom.com. Um, also, you can download the latest version at villainromco.uk, uh, but for some reason it will download as a zip file, and that's why I've uploaded it to downloadandroidrom.com uh, for now. I'll go ahead and go here and go to APK, uh, and also, oops, there we go, and go to APK, and go ahead and go to uh, Expose there, and you'll be able to download the app straight to your phone here, the Expose app settings. Uh, blah blah dot apk all right and uh, wait like five three seconds here and go ahead and click on click here to download and this will download the apk file um, go ahead and click on it when you're done 
if you get that kind of error, um, no worries. Sometimes it happens on certain Android phones. Um, go ahead and download ES File Explorer or your favorite uh, file browser. I have got my files uh, for TouchWiz. And go ahead and browse to your download folder, and you should be able to find the expose app settings um, .apk. And so go ahead and click on it and install it. And go ahead and open it. And now you'll be able to, uh, you'll have the exposed app settings installed there. But there's one more step, so go ahead and go back to apps, uh, go back to uh, expose installer, and you'll have to activate the module. So go ahead and hit modules and uh, check, make sure it's checked, exposed app settings. And you'll have to make, uh, you'll have to reboot your phone to actually make it work. So I'm going to go ahead and restart my phone, and I'll be right back. So my phone has rebooted, um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, go to um, Exposed App Settings, uh, which is that icon there, and go ahead and open it and find your favorite app um, that you want to change to tablet or a hybrid mode or whatever. And so I'm going to go ahead and use Gmail as an example here, uh, for example. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and find my favorite app that I want to change. Go to my Gmail here and make sure you turn it on here. And I'm going to change the DPI. Um, actually, I'm going to change the DPI. You can change the DPI. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just change the screen size uh, to make it bigger like this. And go ahead and hit Save. Say Yes. And I'm going to go ahead and open up my Gmail. Now, I, I should have a uh, tablet mode here. And let me kind of play with it um, so you can see. Also, I can change the font scale. Maybe I want it a little bit smaller, 80% hit save and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, open my Gmail up again and my font should be a lot smaller uh, with the tablet mode so I've got it customized there and also if I want to change the language on this one let's change it to Korean and hit save say yes and I'm gonna go ahead and open up Gmail again and you'll see that uh, some of the options everything my inbox and stuff it's in Korean here as you can see um, let's do one more thing here and uh, also you can do screen on uh, what this will do is that uh, it'll keep your app on maybe you know maybe you want to write down um, some of the notes that somebody sent you um, then you can keep this on and uh, anytime you have Gmail on uh, your your uh, Gmail your screen will be on the whole time so this is a great way to um, change the font size run it in tablet uh, phone mode. Let's go try one more example with Netflix. Hi folks, so I've got my Netflix. Uh, I just downloaded, signed in. This is what it looks like. Um, now you can see the titles are harder to uh, browse because you, it only fits maybe three at most there. Um, so let's go ahead and switch it. Um, go ahead and open up your Expose App Settings and we're going to go ahead and find uh, Netflix. Now if it doesn't show up here and you just installed it, just kill the Expose App Settings. Uh, reopen it and it should show up here and I've lost my voice uh, because I was rooting for the Niners and uh, when they made the last two touchdowns I was just yelling anyway um now it's here make sure it's on for Netflix and uh, you can change the DPI here um, let's say 160 so the smaller it gets the bigger the screen will get so it will become a, a tablet mode and also you can change the screen um, mode here maybe 800 by 280 there and I'm gonna go ahead and hit save and I'm gonna go ahead and open my Netflix here and it should reopen and you can see the uh, logo got much much smaller and I should have a tablet mode and be able to see the titles better and there we go and if it's too small um, you can edit it but now I've got kind of tablet mode I can see much more um, so another effective way of using expose app uh, settings um, to get the effect you want and you can change the font size um, leave the screen on although Netflix will keep the screen on uh, but this is very useful if you're watching uh, flash videos on your browser um, and some videos your screen will turn off so you can go ahead and keep your uh, screen on for your browser uh, if you watch a lot of flash videos anyway um, thanks you guys for watching this video I hope um, you can now run any apps in tablet or phone mode and also change the language, uh, scale your font, you know, all that good stuff. And uh, do let me know how it works for your rooted Android device. And uh, if you like this video, as always, don't forget to hit that like button for me here. Um, subscribe button down there. Um, and I hope I don't lose my voice. But uh, 
have a have a great fun with this and do let me know what you think and I think you'll find this uh, this app very very useful and uh, stay high on Android and I'm gonna go rest my throat alright see y'all later